Gemini. Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. Thank you so much for tuning in. This will be a general reading for the sign of Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers, welcome. Just remember the roles can be reversed um, and to take what resonates and leave the rest spirit. What do we have for my Geminis? What my Geminis got popping? I saw that sun card. I saw that sun card. Ace of Pentacles. Four of Swords. What do we have for my Gemini spirit? Sweet, we've got the Empress. And the Emperor. That wanted to pop out as well. We got the Six of Wands, the Magician. Wow. And the Three of Swords that came out like sideways. So we're maybe heartbroken about something, my Geminis. We got temperance, healing, healing and balance coming in, okay? Maybe a heartbreak here that you are healing from, really um, taking care of yourself now in this Empress energy, um, embodying your divine feminine energy. Maybe out in the public eye right now, whether it's on social media or in real life, like a famous type energy with the Six of Wands, all eyes on me and the magician, so it really looks like you are making it happen. My Gemini, what else do we have? What's this Three of Swords about for my Gemini? Three of Pentacles, maybe a third party situation, something or something that didn't work out here. Um, <clears throat> so I am seeing that this Nine of Wands was in reverse, so it's like not, not trying again, not working something out with someone could be an earth sign with this king of pentacles and this emperor aries um capricorn taurus virgo energy as well eight of swords um kind of being bound by your thoughts right now by thoughts of you know stress maybe of this heartbreak here of this situation here um let's see what else can we get on this three of swords spirit yeah so this was a situation where you were, this was a karmic. This was a karmic. But you've been standing in your power. You've been being strong. You've been uh, moving forward, it looks like. Um, you were, this was a situation where you were giving and you weren't getting shit. Um, this five of pentacles, it's being sick over it. It's uh, feeling alone, left out, isolated. Uh, and then this Wheel of Fortune. So this is telling me that it was some sort of karmic situation that left you heartbroken. Um, but I see you in amazing energy overall right now with this Magician, this Empress, the Six of Wands. I don't think you could get any. Look at that. There's a portal right here. Four of Wands. This is about celebration. Um, it's a portal. It's a portal to a new beginning what else do we have on this situation for my gemini is pretty spirit the knight of pentacles somebody's making some type of offer i feel like whoever this person is they're mean i feel like somebody wants to work somebody from the past wants to work something out with you gemini could have been in a marriage or a higher level a commitment relationship but I feel like there was tons of conflict in this situation or there is still tons of conflict in this situation it's not what you thought it was gonna be that's for sure so what is your advice yeah, I really feel like this was some type of third party situation here. Somebody was cheating or, or being deceptive, lying, some shit like that. I do feel they're going to be trying to make you an offer, Gemini. It ain't none to cut that bitch off. So, um, your advice here that Spirit is saying, you know, it's up to you what you want to do okay but stressing like this is not going to get you anywhere or anything um i'm going to grab you some advice i mean besides 
telling you that six of pentacles, you know, these, this is equal give and take. I do see the sun here. I do see the sun. I do see the two of pentacles. If you make that decision to cut this situation off and move forward, um, staying in this magician energy, you do have the six of wands. That's a major victory, a major victory. This is making the choice to cut it off. To not stress about it and yes this is some sort of relationship we have a divine masculine popping out here it could be the sign of aries leo we got sagittarius as well there is divine healing coming into um your situation but i feel like there is a blockage right now because i feel like you haven't walked away fully from this situation my gemini um so the the advice from your guides is to cut it off to this queen of swords makes logical mind over heart decisions um, for the best of, you know, herself and those involved. This is really about moving forward. And with this two of wands, what I'm hearing is to let it go. Let it go like that movie, that kid's movie, let it go. Whoa. Whoa. We got the hermit. So yeah, you're being called to really go within right now, Gemini, to really go within. Ask the universe what it's trying to teach you, okay? Because I do see that this is something needs to come to be tore down. Something needs to be tore down, whether it's a thought process or a cord cutting. Like this could be a total cord cutting. This could be a total cord cutting and then they're blocking up the flow of your thoughts with this eight of swords. Um, this is really about cutting those cords, okay? Anybody's backstabbing you, yeah, look at this. We got the nine of pentacles, that's my single card. The six of swords moving on to calmer waters, the fool, a new journey. This is about starting something new. This is about ending a cycle. This is the number nine, it's Virgo energy. It's about taking care of yourself. It's about going within um meditating gaining that wisdom uh asking the universe what this cycle was trying to teach you really standing in your power um and moving forward trusting that this is all surfacing this tower moment this stress this eight of wands this this feeling stuck like this is for a reason okay it's for a reason it's so that you can level up my gemini it's so that you can step into your wow wish fulfillment it's literally so you can step into your wish fulfillment, your stability, your own, your ace of pentacles here. All right. This is the universe bringing you, bringing, you see the, the hand coming out of that portal. This is the universe bringing this opportunity to you, my Gemini, to really um, step into your own here, to heal, to let this go to cut this off and create the life that you want. And not only that you want, but the life that you deserve. Um, you know, you're worth so much more than to be giving into a situation where you're not getting any from. Six of Pentacles, you're giving, you're not getting. Queen of Swords, cut it off. Five of Wands, anything causing this conflict six of cups that's keeping you stuck in that past you're not growing out of this situation stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking so yeah that eight of swords is negative thinking it's letting your thoughts kind of keep you trapped so definitely um try waking up doing a gratitude list and a um manifestation list a um what are they called positive affirmation list all right, you are the you are the magician, so your thoughts are going to become your reality. If you're constantly thinking on this past situation and how terrible it was, then your energy is going to be the past situation and how terrible it was. So this is really about even if you have to fake it till you make it. I say that all the time, okay? I say that all the time. Yeah, look at this. There's deception. Somebody's wearing a mask, it's being shady. Um, I did see two third party cards and in this reading that's what i was getting from it this is about very soon clearly decide what you want so that way the universe can bring it to you and then pay attention to the red flags my gemini i'm gonna grab you a starseed oracle card as well um show some love and hit that thumbs up if you've made it this far i appreciate you 
tuning in as always. Yeah, really, this is just about staying positive with that two of wands too. This is really about seeing up here what you want to come uh, out here to fruition. What do we have for my Gemini's? Devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. So that's just like I was just saying with the affirmations and the gratitude. When we bring this um, divinity, and then you got visionary, wow. Just picture it. This is your portal, Gemini. This is your portal to get out of this energy. This is your portal to tear this stuff down that isn't making you happy and truly move on to what does. Okay, I'm going to read this cosmic heart. Make your life a moving prayer. That's basically <clears throat> what we were just saying. Cosmic heart. When you surrender to a state of devotion, you find yourself flowing with all of life. You're being called to refocus your attention deep within to the intelligence of your own heart, to bow with deep reverence to your inner temple, to live your life in devotion to this place, to make your life one big moving prayer. Perhaps you felt a bit off kilter lately, sensing that the potency of why you're doing things has gotten a little watered down or weak. Perhaps you've forgotten what made you start doing them in the first place. If so, this is your call to take a moment and reconnect with the truth at the very center of your heart to get back to the essence of what you're about and to devote your life to what you care most about. To turn your gaze deep, 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 deep. Okay? There are seasons for harvesting and seasons for sowing. Right now, you're being called to plant your soul's seeds. What I say with that magician card, it's time to plant your soul's seeds and sing them and sing to them with deep devotion, to feed them with sweet waters of your own soul and to lose yourself in the potency of what it is that most expands your heart, to live your life according to what makes you come alive rather than what everyone else thinks, to make your life one big moving prayer. How can you make your life one big moving prayer, my Gemini? This is amazing energy. Don't forget that you are the magician, Mercury energy here. Geminis are ruled by Mercury, okay? This is about making it happen, but it starts up here, okay? I really appreciate you again for tuning in. I love you, my Geminis. I'll catch y'all on the next one.